What if I told you that in 2025, you can buy a humanoid robot that talks, recognizes your face, and even dances for just $1,400? I'm not talking about a toy, this is the spark that's about to ignite the biggest robot race in history. But before we dive into the details, help us get to 5,000 subscribers, because we'll be giving a $500 Amazon gift card to 10 lucky viewers upon reaching the milestone. Boomy. The $1,400 revolution. For years, Building a humanoid robot was something only elite labs and billion-dollar tech companies could dream of. A single unit would cost more than most houses until Noetics Robotics dropped a bombshell called Boomy. This little three-foot-tall humanoid didn't just walk into the room, it kicked down the door to the future. At just $1,400, Boomy didn't quietly join the robotics world, it redefined it. Just a few months ago, the Unitree R1 had made headlines for being the first affordable humanoid at $6,000 and that was considered a steal. But Boomi? It took that price tag, crushed it, and made the industry stop and stare. For context, this thing can walk, wave, recognize faces, respond to speech, and even dance to a beat, all without requiring an expensive lab setup or industrial gear. What's even crazier is that Noetics achieved this by simplifying everything. Instead of chasing perfection with expensive materials and custom-built hardware, they leaned into efficiency using modular components compact servos, and cloud-assisted AI to handle processing. It's kind of like how smartphones became smart, not because they were huge or complex, but because they learned how to do more with less. And that's what Boomi represents a turning point, a moment when robots stopped being this far-off dream and started becoming household tech, just like computers did in the 90 seconds. Imagine a future where your kid learns coding with a humanoid assistant, or where classrooms use robots to teach real-time language interaction. The implications are massive, not just for robotics engineers, but for anyone who's ever dreamed of owning something that moves, thinks, and interacts like a person. And yet, this is just the beginning. Because while Boomi made everyone smile, the next robot on our list made the world feel uneasy. Because the moment Unitree unveiled the H2, people stopped clapping and started wondering if maybe, just maybe, we'd gone too far. Unitree H2. When machines start to feel human. Now, the Unitree H2 is where things start getting weirdly real. When it first dropped, social media didn't know how to react. Some people called it mesmerizing. Others said it was too human to be comfortable watching. And honestly, both sides were right. Unlike its predecessor, the H1, which was fast, slick, and robotic in a cool, mechanical way, the H2 decided to slow down and move like us. And that's where the discomfort began. Instead of sprinting, this machine glides. It can bow, shift its weight, mimic martial arts poses, and even recover from stumbles like a person would. It's got 31 motorized joints, up from 26 inches the H1, and each one can make micro-adjustments that give it this eerie sense of fluidity like it's alive, but not quite. Unitree basically traded speed for soul, and that's not just a technical change, it's a philosophical one. The H2 is engineered for presence. When it stands still, it feels like it's aware of you. When it moves, it feels like it's deciding, not just executing commands. That illusion of choice is where the emotional dissonance kicks in. Our brains can't fully process whether it's alive, which lands it right in the uncanny valley that strange psychological zone where realism becomes unsettling. But here's the twist. This too human feeling, it's deliberate. The H2 was designed to bridge emotional connection with utility. It can use optional dexterous hands to manipulate delicate objects, folding fabric, threading wires, even pouring a drink without spilling a drop. It's mechanical empathy made real. Analysts predict it'll cost over $100,000. So it's nowhere near Boomi's level of accessibility, but that doesn't matter. What matters is that the technology powering the H2 will eventually trickle down into consumer-grade bots. Meaning one day, the two real motion you're seeing here could be standing in your living room. And if that already makes your skin crawl a bit, just wait because the next robot doesn't just move like us, it looks like us. M1 Origin, the face that broke the internet. When a head form unveiled the M1 Origin earlier this year, the internet collectively gasped. You've probably seen that clip, the one where a humanoid head smiles, blinks, and holds eye contact so convincingly that people forgot they were watching a robot. Within hours, it was trending across every platform, with comments ranging from, this is beautiful, to this is how it all ends. It's great for Ms. Tunit, but behind the viral shock was a very specific technological leap. The M1 wasn't just another Android. 
It was the first machine capable of emotional synchronization. Its internal AI doesn't just read speech patterns. It feels them, at least in a simulated way. Using more than 200 micro-muscle actuators, it syncs expressions to the tone of voice in real time. When it smiles, it's not just stretching synthetic skin, it's calculating emotional coherence. Even its eyes are built differently. Embedded with miniature LiDAR and focus tracking sensors, they follow the gaze of the person it's talking to. That single feature eye contact completely changes how we perceive it. Suddenly, you're not looking at a robot, you're being looked at by one, and that tiny difference flips a primal switch in our minds. This is what scientists call crossing the uncanny valley. For years, robots were either cute or creepy. M1 found the midpoint unsettlingly beautiful, and that's why it's so important. Because once a machine can simulate empathy convincingly enough to make us forget it's artificial, the door to emotional AI has officially opened. A head form knows this, which is why they're focusing purely on the face right now. They don't want to build a full humanoid yet. They're perfecting the hardest part first, the human connection. But if you think that's impressive, just wait till you see what happens when someone decides to mass produce humanoids like cars. Because that's exactly what Tesla's planning next. Tesla's Optimus. The Million Robot Factory. Elon Musk didn't just make an announcement, he dropped a thunderclap. During Tesla's recent Q3 earnings call, he revealed something that could rewrite the economics of robotics entirely. Tesla is officially building a production line capable of producing one million humanoid robots. Not concept sketches. Not lab prototypes. Real. Functional. Humanoids rolling off an assembly line like Model Ys. And here's where it gets even wilder, the next generation Optimus Gen 3 could make its first appearance next month. According to Musk, this new model won't just move better, it'll move so fluidly, you'd have to poke it to believe it's not a person. That's not just marketing hype, it's Tesla's core philosophy at work. See, most companies treat robotics like a frozen artifact design, build, and ship. Tesla doesn't. Musk treats robots as living software, constantly evolving. Every Optimus unit learns from the last, Every update improves real-world performance. They're building not static machines, but an iterating species. And the secret sauce? Vertical integration. Tesla builds everything in-house. The actuators, AI models, battery systems, even the motors inside the joints. No outsourcing, no waiting on suppliers. This means development cycles that take competitors years can be executed at Tesla in months. Imagine upgrading a robot the same way you update your phone. That's exactly what they're aiming for. Rolling improvements that push humanoids closer to human behavior with every release. Now, here's the roadmap Musk laid out. 1 million units for Gen 3, 10 million for Gen 4, and 50 million for Gen 5. He even called it half-jokingly, half-seriously the infinite money glitch. And it's not hard to see why. Robots that can work, build, and replicate could completely redefine productivity and labor costs. This is the Model T moment of robotics mass production for the humanoid era. But while Tesla is gearing up for the largest robot factory in history, another company decided to take a completely different approach. Because while Musk wants humanoids in factories, one Chinese startup decided to put their robot in a dinosaur costume. And weirdly enough, it might be the most brilliant thing anyone's done all year. Jurassic Mode the robot that learned by playing. When Limps Dynamics unveiled their Tron, one robot stomping around in a full dinosaur suit, the internet lost its mind. A mechanical T-Rex marching through a lab looked like something straight out of a sci-fi comedy. But behind that playful surface was one of the most clever experiments in modern robotics, one that could reshape how machines learn to move. Tron 1, under all that Jurassic flair, is a serious piece of tech. It's a two-legged robot designed to master adaptive locomotion, the ability to walk, balance, and recover in unpredictable environments. The team at Limex didn't give it the dinosaur skin just for laughs. They used it to make motion patterns visible and engaging, so researchers and the public could observe how a robot adjusts dynamically in real time. It's science with style. Here's where things get interesting. During testing, Tron 1 stood inside a moving truck that accelerated, braked, and swerved violently, and it stayed upright. No harness, no tether, just its internal gyroscopes and feedback loops calculating balance on the fly. That kind of dynamic stability is something even expensive humanoids struggle with. Limix pulled it off using adaptive neural control systems, basically letting the robot feel the floor beneath it and correct its posture like a human would. Even better, Tron 1 is open source. Developers and students can code their own walking styles, upload new balancing behaviors, and instantly see them play out on real hardware. 
It's like turning robotics into a creative playground, where experimentation isn't locked behind million-dollar labs. And that's the hidden genius here. By wrapping their research in humor and accessibility, Limix made robotics fun again. They proved that play isn't the opposite of progress, sometimes it's the engine of it. But while Limix was teaching robots how to play, Caltech and the Technology Innovation Institute were teaching them something even more profound, how to work together as one body. And what they built next might be the first glimpse of robotic evolution itself. The hybrid age, when robots start to evolve together. Imagine a humanoid walking through a lab, carrying a backpack that suddenly launches into the air, transforming into a drone that flies ahead, scouts terrain, and then lands to roll like a rover. Sounds like a movie scene, right? Nope. That's Caltech's X1 project, built in collaboration with the Technology Innovation Institute in Abu Dhabi, the world's first hybrid multimodal robotic system. The setup is almost poetic in its design. The humanoid handles ground navigation with physics-based walking control, meaning it learns to move based on the same principles of balance and momentum that humans use no pre-recorded animation data, no scripts. Meanwhile, its partner, the M4 drone, can switch between flying and driving depending on the environment. Together, they form what engineers call a system of systems, two independent robots acting as one intelligent organism. Here's the brilliance. Both machines share a unified AI core that lets them talk to each other in real time. The humanoid knows when the drone's vision detects an obstacle. The drone adjusts flight when the humanoid's load changes. It's the beginning of collaborative autonomy, where robots don't just coexist, they cooperate. The implications are enormous. In search and rescue missions, for example, a humanoid could navigate through debris while its drone partner scouts ahead for survivors. In industrial settings, it could perform inspections, send data via drone, and even adapt mid-task without human input. This isn't just smarter robots, it's the rise of robotic ecosystems. Caltech's CAST Lab, Mori Garib's drone team, and Northeastern University's robotics division all contributed to this breakthrough, merging disciplines in one ambitious leap. They didn't just build a robot, they built a collaborative species. And here's the kicker. The X1's humanoid doesn't just walk like a human, it learns like one. Every step, every slip, every recovery adds to its training data, evolving its reflexes over time. We've officially left the era of single-purpose machines. This is the dawn of hybrid intelligence, and the next chapter? It's about to bring these machines right into your home, the road to everyday robotics. So here we are the edge of something massive. What started with a $1,400 experiment called Boomi has now turned into an industrial arms race. But for all the viral demos and sci-fi hype, one company might actually be bringing humanoids into real homes. That company is One X Technologies, and their upcoming Neo Gamma humanoid is rumored to be entering home trials later this year. This could be the first consumer-facing humanoid that actually works in daily life, helping tidy up, fetch items, or assist the elderly. If that happens, we're talking about robots not in labs or factories, but living rooms. Meanwhile, Direct Drive Tech is pushing hardware boundaries with the D1, a fully modular humanoid that can reconfigure its body swapping between leg and wheel modes depending on terrain. Think of it like robotic Lego with a PhD in physics. It can crawl, sprint, climb, or roll adapting dynamically without human intervention. Then there's Sharpa Robotics who just unveiled the most dexterous robotic hands yet 22 degrees of freedom, precise tactile sensors, and real-time grip adjustment. These hands can delicately hold an egg or tighten a screw, a level of nuance that's been nearly impossible for machines until now. And if you're wondering how far this can really go, look at Ajibot's G2, a full-scale industrial humanoid capable of working 24 sevenths with near-human finesse. It's already handling delicate materials on production lines, using torque sensors that detect pressure and adjust motion mid-task. That means it can perform complex, repetitive jobs without fatigue or damage, something no human can match. Every one of these breakthroughs. Boomi's affordability, Unitree's realism, M1's empathy, Tesla's scale, Caltech's collaboration. They're all converging into a single reality. Humanoids are no longer fiction. They're the next major computing platform. So here's the thought to leave you with, if today, $1,400 buys you a robot that walks and talks, what will it buy you by 2030? Because the future isn't coming someday, it's literally walking toward us right now. And hey, if you want to see where that path leads, make sure to hit subscribe because the next update might just be the one where machines stop being machines and start being something else.